and welcome everyone to this webinar where we're going to introduce you to the Goddess Egypt tour that is happening next year in March 20th to the 6th of April. And we are so excited um, that you are joining us to feel into whether this is something that's resonating. My name is Crystal Alexander Hill. I am going to Egypt for the fourth time, the third time taking a tour. And this one just feels unbelievably powerful, like more so than all of the others. I am so excited. Um, I have a real affinity with Egypt. I have lived there many, many lifetimes as high priestess, as priestess in many different way, um, temples. And I'm sure as a proper human normal being as well, because we do everything. So uh, my mission, my purpose really is to facilitate the transition into this new divine feminine era that is coming to the planet. And in order to do so, we have to reconnect to our ancient um, knowing, our ancient lineage. And so this tour is very much in alignment with that purpose. I work with, particularly with women, um, assisting them to remember their soul purpose um, through past life regressions, through inner child work, where we're just releasing all of the the blockages, the conditioning, the fears, um, also working very much with sacred sexuality and that life force and that spiritual connection that sexuality and spirituality have. Um, I'll leave it there. If you want to know more, you can just read the bio or contact me personally. And I want to introduce Molly as well now because Molly and I, we met at a conference, a women's conference last year and just clicked. And when my partner Alex asked if I wanted to facilitate this tour with him. I said, yeah, but something wasn't, something was missing. And I tuned in and then Molly said to me, I want to go to Egypt. And I said, right, okay, <laughs> we need to do this together. And so Molly, I'm going to let you introduce yourself, um, your connection to Egypt. And yeah, this is well, just, yeah, I'm so excited. Thank you. Um, it's really an honor to be invited and to participate, co-facilitate on this trip. Um, I immediately said yes, because I also have an affinity with Egypt. I have also had past lives in Egypt. I've been to Egypt once and it was many years ago. And I knew that there was something there for me and it has never left me and it it really propelled me um, onto my spiritual path um, i subsequently studied in zen meditation for many many years in paris and then um, found multiple um, schools of awareness, mystery schools, fourth way school, Sufism. I'm just, just steeped in traditions of finding stillness and presence. So my um, intention on this trip in co-facilitating um, is to help hold a container for us to be able to voyage on an inner journey. And as well along the way, um, my, one of my professions is being a classical pianist and I found the crystal tones alchemy bowls. And so I am a sound shaman and play the crystal bowls um, to work with frequency in places and within people. So I do sound baths and um, sound healing with frequency. And so when Crystal and Alex invited me, they of course wanted me to bring the bowls. And we will be going to sites that most tourists cannot go to. And in doing so, I'm going to be adding this extra component of playing the sound bowls and we'll be toning together. So this is part of my sound shaman role to help initiate this new energy coming in with Crystal, with Alex, and with all of you who are going to come with us with this very purpose, this very why 
you know, why Egypt and, and, and why this particular journey? So we, we, we really are going to all be leaders in this realm and whatever strengths you have and also whatever process you're going through. So, um, you know, my background steeped in meditation, in awareness practices, in the mystery school and the sound shaman work goes right in with Alex and Crystal. So we're very excited to tell you a little bit about this trip. Mm, wonderful. Thanks, Molly, for that introduction and bringing the sound into it. Let's invoke and create like a field where we all, regardless of when people are watching, where you're watching from, where we're kind of coming in together and creating this container for this tour. Absolutely. So I invite you all to, in your chair, as you're watching this and listening to this webinar, let your body become heavy with sensation. Feel the life force in all parts of your body. So just take a minute to bring your awareness there so that you're fully here, that these words may meet you in a way we might not hear it otherwise. And as we're sitting, we'll invoke the necessary energies, guides, and help who are assisting us on this trip and assisting all of us as we prepare for this journey. the descendants of Hathor, Sekhmet, the house of Isis, and her descendants, the star nations, and those beings who are in full support of our intentions. And we're invoking those who are joining us to be assisted by their guides. And in this time of great awakening, we each play a part. We're each responsible for our transformation and we have a chance to participate in something that is beyond us, that awakens the mystery in us. And as that mystery awakens within us, as above, so below, we become the liaison between the heavenly realms and the earthly body as evolved beings on this planet, here to do our work and fulfill our purpose. Take a breath. And release any tension. Experience a stillness coming over you. and listen carefully, listen to your heart and the divinity within. Perhaps you may hear something here on this recording that lets you know this is what you want to do or would like to join us. There's something calling in you, calling to you. And we'll hold that energy together. Another breath.
May the divine goddess and god energy, the marriage of the masculine and feminine, be alighted within us that we may carry this dual aspect within us. and become a part of what is awakening now. And another breath. And so it is. Mm, thank you, Molly. We are assisted. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. In such a big way. Mm -hmm. This tour is assisted. It's, yes. It's being, it's like we are just answering the call. Yes. We're the vessels, the vehicles to make it, whatever it is, happen. Yeah. I do believe, and I think Alex would agree with us, um, we, we are going there with a purpose, with an intention, and we'll all hold it. And whatever happens, may we all experience things when we travel, when we, we go to a foreign place, but we're going to Egypt, which holds a very magical and ancient wisdom. And there we have a chance together to be in that place, that very magic and I believe that's what the Egyptians were about. And we're about opening this, this marriage between the masculine and feminine and allowing us to have the energy rise in us, a life force, a consciousness, an awakening. Yes. And it really feels that um, what we've been shown is that we, the people coming on this tour will become portals for this new energy and as we are coming from all around the globe we'll just be able to anchor and hold that as Gaia continues to move through transitions into this new more harmonious way of being but sometimes like the caterpillar things need to happen and so it's important that we release the fears and I know of many people who are having fears coming up around going to Egypt um, political situation cultural environment and all of that is serving that purpose to flushing out um, the fear to bringing it to the surface so it can be released and that whole journey down the nile the nile and all the temples along the trip are like puncture points of the chakras um, puncture points of our spine um, and so we are as we're moving into the temples, each related to a chakra, we're also opening within ourselves that chakra, releasing, clearing, transmuting, whatever is no longer serving us so that we can become this portal for this harmonious masculine feminine energy, twin flame, some people call it, whatever language you want to choose and you resonate with. We are not dogmatic in the, in the terminologies that we use. So whatever you want to replace any of this with, um, yeah, it is a journey to open all of our chakras and realigning them with the sacred energy, the sacred frequency of Egypt and the bowls that Molly mentioned earlier will assist us greatly in this. Yes, the bowls carry energies themselves. All the bowls that I'm going to be bringing are made from pure crystal. So we have combinations of, for example, smoky quartz and iron and um, uh, amethyst or uh, topaz. So these, these bowls are extremely powerful holding an energy already that has, they, they them, unto themselves, also that I've been working with these bowls. And so they carry a frequency and a power that will work with the energies that are there. And the Egyptians worked with sound. They moved things with sound. And we 
have something flowing through our body, all through the fluid, through our nervous system, through our etheric bodies and beyond that are affected by sound. And it is a very new modality, but it is a very ancient modality. And so that will bring things in you that will harmonize and that will are meant to also deblock and reharmonize but it's in meshed with the energies of the temples and so there's a there's an unknown there we're going in there with all of this and ready will sound with certain tones which correspond exactly with the chakras and there are also intervals the distance between two notes that become uh, correspondent to blocks within chakras and so we'll be working with you know the fourth and the fifth which is the masculine and feminine and with the frequency fa which is the heart opening which allows us to have this so above the opening of the these upper chakras with the grounding and the body of the lowers. And so the, the fa becomes this focal point and we're, you know, ritualistically going to visit these temples. And I can see why that might frighten some people, but it allows us to face the fear and to create an opening of void. And when their nature abhors a void, it will fill it will fill and so we become vessels together moving up the spine of the Nile and it's just um, I do believe also that it's just as safe as anywhere else and we can't play into any fear the environment is safe right now we have had that question and we have trusted guides Alex and Crystal have been there many times. They have experienced guides who are Egyptian who will come along with us. Absolutely, we're very well looked after by them. They are recommending where we can go and where we can't go. They're very plugged in, but looking at some websites of the um, UK government, all the places that we're going to are currently in a green zone, which means that it is absolutely safe. Um, but before we go, I think this is a perfect segue into the sort of more practical aspect of the tour so people get an idea of, so what is it actually about? We've got the sense of, you know, the spiritual purpose now. Um, so there are three guides. We mentioned Alex as well. Alex is my partner and he has written novels on, like a big, big novel on Egypt, rewriting the history and digging into the truth of the history. He is guiding the Red Granite Tour, which is an archaeological spiritual discovery tour, which runs parallel to the goddess tour that Molly and I will be holding and facilitating. Um, so if you have a partner who wants to come as well, who's called, uh, he can go on the, Egypt, um, the Red Granite Tour whilst you do the goddess tour. They are going parallel and with the exception of one or two nights, you will be able to share a twin share accommodation with that person. The goddess tour has time and space in between visiting the sacred sites where we can integrate, where we can sit in circle and share and to see what needs to emerge, what needs to be integrated, what needs to be called in. And Molly and I have a toolkit of things um, that we can call on to release whatever needs to be released, to reclaim and remember whatever needs to be remembered. And I'm sure the participants will come, they will have their own toolkits, which we are welcome into the circle as well. Um, while we're doing circles, the Red Granite Tour is going off to more obscure places to kind of piecing together puzzle pieces of a the true history of Egypt, if there, you know, truth is all encompassing, but so a different um, Egypt, Egypt history that the Egyptologists are not even aware of because of the corruption that has happened throughout Egypt over many, many, many years. Well, so if if, if someone in the goddess tour wanted to see one particular place, 
would they not be advised to do that and we just stay with the goddess? I, I know kind of the red granite people are not going to be joining the goddess people. We're going to be traveling together, but they're not going to be invited into our goddess circle that we're sort of having a, a journey amongst us as women in the goddess realm and experience. Am I right about that? Absolutely, yes. Okay. I feel that if there is a woman or somebody in the goddess tour who wants to go and do something really urgently, then I think that should be okay. We, we will flow with whatever is right in the moment because it's, it's hard to kind of make, I don't like making rules. It needs right. to feel right. You know, and having said that, there is also already one man booked into the goddess tour. So we are, you know, welcoming, we're awakening the feminine within. We're awakening the goddess within and men and women both have that. So it is not exclusive to men if they feel like they want to have a more deeper spiritual awakening a deeper spiritual journey they are welcome to come to the goddess wonderful well. so it's not gender specific at all we are we are going there's goddess energies and there may be people interested in the archaeological and you know that those rituals within the temple um we will do and we will have the downtime to have the circles and sometimes people have real experiences in these places and they can share their experience and it's like oh yeah i felt this and i and, and it, it it we begin to see more as people share their experience into the next temple and so so it helps us to see and feel and hear beyond what is seen and the energies that are are available to us in some of these temples i mean we're going to go up in the king's chamber. We're going out to the desert. We're, it's, it's a gamut of experiences. We'll be camping, and we're also staying in five-star hotels. We we're, we're, we're have different modes of travel. And um, so it really it covers a huge spectrum of the way we're going to travel. Mm. Yes, we are seeing both the luxury and we're going to be invited into people's homes to see how they actually live as well, which is exciting. Yeah. Um, so we've covered the, have we covered the container? I think we, we have covered the container and, and to reiterate, when people are experiencing transformation, you know, sometimes stuff happens and it's a safe environment we are holding a very solid container for people to be able to process that and that is what's important to know and i think on the very um uh the logistics and all of that we're holding a very planned container as well where we're staying who's helping us and all of that so both realms are are very held and organized and so that I think is an important thing about the container yes and to know that you know you have 10 20 ex like years of experience of holding groups and creating these containers I have 10 years of experience of doing that we're both yeah I have 20 years of you know running groups and running retreats and uh, been doing it for the awareness school uh, my husband and I are founders of that we have been running retreats and group work for that long. So we know how to do that. We've seen it. We've seen things happen. So I think you will be in good hands if you're wondering about that. <laughs> and I think people can feel the transmission as well from us at the moment, like they're trusting, you know, trusting their heart in that. Um, I think what I want to mention is that this is not a love and light tour. We are not into dancing in the temples and oh, everything is wonderful. We are welcoming whatever needs to come up. We are facing it. We're looking at it. We want it because yeah. if, it's, if, the, if it's not coming up, then we can't, we, we're not clear. We can't bring something else in and we all have these layers. And so this is, so this is for people who are willing to face what comes up, who are willing to take responsibility for their own um fears 
and not blame the tour guides or us or whatever for these unexpected things that probably will happen because for, because we are so held spiritually you know that we in the last tour a, a, a trip that should have taken three hours on the bus through the desert took five there was nowhere to go to the toilet people had to go in the sand dunes and they had to face those fears of but i can't shit when i'm in the sand dune okay so you know stuff comes up survival whatever whatever's needed this tour will bring it to the surface and so it's um yeah it's not just sitting on a meditation cushion it's it's integrating and living this spiritual way in the real world seeing how we can hold our energy in the face of whatever is going to unfold right so these unexpected things um they provide the perfect struggle and no effort goes unrewarded really um and in 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 having to like hold those those things in front of you and and work with it i mean so it is for people who who are willing to do the work it's it's not going to be all done for you and it's it's not about this feel good thing but we're also not saying oh it's just we're going to have all of this strife and there will be magical things happening just by the sheer fact that we're going on an adventure down the nile and in egypt so I think if you're an adventurer, if you're a spiritual seeker, if you understand perhaps the nature of transformation, that it doesn't come from bypassing, it comes from pulling this up in front of you and allowing yourself to see it and to experience it and, and to deal with that in a way that we can help you deal with that. And, that's important to know who, who this is not for <laughs> because you know it's a new experience every time you play i play those bowls and with who's there and where we are and what we're doing so i am more than excited i i urge you both crystal and i urge you to you know give us um a direct message if you have questions if you feel like i want to go on this tour we have payment plans the deposit is not due until november 30th so that gives you time to reflect to ask questions and to be able to make it happen and really if you see yourself there the universe will provide the means I'm convinced of that. We've already got people coming on who thought, I, I never thought I could do this. So, and it's a very special group so far. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, yeah, I have evidence of that as well in my life so many times. I, I have enough money somehow to put a deposit down. And then I think, well, the, the rest will take care of itself. Somehow it will come. And not knowing, I always follow my heart, and it's never let me down. So me I have many. Stories. Yeah, it's it's incredible how that works. So if you if you are in that position and you feel, oh, but I don't have the money, um, you need to make a decision. And I'm feeling like so many people say, oh, if it's meant to happen, it will. But we have free will, so we I have to make a decision. We have to see ourselves there and not doubt it for a moment and say yes i'm going and that's when the universe fills in it's oh i'll see if it happens taking a very passive back seat well you know this doesn't sync with the universe you have to say yes and then it fills in that's been my experience and i've done the same thing as you yes i meant to go uh, give a deposit and somehow boom 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 it it falls into place you know another client comes in or some money drops in from somewhere you find a way and i think this is worth it this is a trip of a lifetime um i really believe that and i know you know i'm not just saying it i think if you if you're feeling this and listening to it get in touch with us mm. so if you want to find out more about the itinerary 
um, it's on my website, goddessreawakening.com forward slash Egypt hyphen tour. Um, we'll also put that, you know, you may, on, on social media and in, on YouTube, wherever you're watching this video from. Um, so goddessreawakening.com forward slash Egypt hyphen tour. And if you are my tribe, come and speak to me. I want to speak to you too. If you have any questions, there is like an informal interview um, process, a chat. And if you're coming through Molly, reach out to her and have that same conversation with her. And we really, yeah, look forward to finding the missing people that are out there to come and join us on this tour. And we are filling up, so don't leave it too long. You'll be seeing us posting about this, you know, now is the time. And thank you everyone for being here and for being open to something uh, that I think will be extraordinary. And to Crystal and Alex. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye.